South Korean opposition leader Lee Jae-myung was convicted of violating election law and sentenced to a suspended prison term Friday by a court that ruled he made false statements while denying corruption allegations during a presidential campaign. If it stands, the ruling could significantly shake up the country's politics by potentially unseating Lee as a lawmaker and denying him a shot at running for president in the next election. But Lee, who faces three other trials over corruption and other criminal charges, is expected to challenge any guilty verdict and it remains unclear whether the Supreme Court would decide on any of the cases before the presidential vote in March 2027. Lee told reporters that he plans to appeal Friday's verdict at the Seoul Central District Court, which gave him a sentence of one year in prison, suspended for two years. Under South Korean law, Lee would lose his legislative seat and be barred from running in elections for five years if he receives either a penalty exceeding a 1 million won fine for election law violations or any prison sentence for other crimes. Lee, a firebrand liberal who narrowly lost the 2022 election to conservative President Yoon suk Yeol, had steadfastly denied wrongdoing. The ruling at the Seoul Central District Court drew intense media coverage and seemingly thousands of protesters. Surrounded by police lines, Lee supporters and critics occupied separate streets near the court, shouting opposing slogans and holding signs that said Lee Jae Myung is innocent and arrest Lee Jae Myung. There were no immediate reports of major clashes. Prosecutors indicted Lee in 2022 over charges that he made false claims related to two controversial development projects in the city of Songnam, where he was mayor from 2010 to 2018, while campaigning as the presidential candidate for the Democratic Party. One of the comments cited by prosecutors is related to suspicions that Songnam City in 2015 changed the land use designation to allow a housing project on a site previously preserved as green space due to lobbying by private developers. Lee said during a parliamentary hearing in October 2021 that the city was instead coerced by the national government to make the change to the site in the district of Baekyeondong. Prosecutors say there's no evidence to back Lee's claim, which has been denied by the Ministry of Land, Infrastructure, and Transport. Prosecutors also cited a TV interview Lee gave in December 2021, when he said he didn't know a senior official at Songnam City's urban development arm during his time as mayor. Lee spoke a day after the official was found dead amid an investigation into a property development project in the district of Daejangdong which reaped huge profits for a small asset management firm and its affiliates and raised suspicions about possible corrupt links between them.
항소하게 될 것입니다. 기본적인 사실 인정부터 도저히 수긍하기 어려운 그런 결론입니다. 우리 국민 여러분께서도 상식과 정의에 입각해서 판단해 보시면 충분히 결론에 이르실 수 있을 것입니다. 